Today I want to discuss the punch list workflow that Bluebeam has been reporting as a drastic efficiency increaser for the construction industry. And I wanted to discuss that a little bit more in depth and say some of the good things about the process and some ways to improve the process. Um, specifically on the ways to improve the process, we need to have more enhanced batch importing of punch list items. Um, on construction projects, we deal with several hundred types of items. It can't be simply boiled down into a single template per project. Um, by and large, the users across the industry are just not are not functioning like that. And trying to fit their workflow into that system is not that effective. So the current way that we have it, we, we create these tool chests that are full of items. For example, this is e-test. I call it, it's for electrical test. And additionally, you can have, you know, you can, you can put numberings on these. and um, So E01, E02. And the great part about this is that as I select one of these objects, if this is E01, I select it here, it pops up in my markups window. Oftentimes you'll see this hidden, but if you click on this bottom link, you can interact with your markups um, in either a tabular format or a graphical format, and this is fantastic. This is a very, very big benefit of using the Bluebeam system. So by clicking on this E1, I can s give it a check mark to say it's done. I can click on this second E1 here, put a check mark to say it's done. Select both of these and change their color to green so that we have a visual indicator here on screen that says these items are done, they're complete, they're green, and these items are still outstanding being read. So the way that we need to modify these as it currently stands is we, we create this e-test and we double click on it and then if we wanted to add a 2 to the end we would have to append that 2 at the end here and right click add to tool chest and in our test punch list tools. And now e-test is another object that we can use in our punch list. Um, that's one way to go about doing it. And kind of the standard that Bluebeam is saying, is telling its user, users to use. The second way to go about, I guess the second feature that we can use to create punch list tools is by having a suffix, um, a, a suffix and a numbering scheme. So in order to do that, we can take any, any one of our objects that we put in here. I'm not going to go into the too big of the details, and I'll do one that I've already created. So the way this, the way this functions is we have E01.1, and then the second one we drop on the page is going to be E01.2, E01.3, 0 .2, E0 .3, 0 .4, and I think we can understand the rest. Um, the way we do that is we right-click on the object in the tool chest. We go to Sequence and hit Define and we define it with the prefix E01 point, and then we have a starting increment of one, or we a starting number of one and an increment of one. So we start at the number one and count up by one. You could do this by fives, by tens, whatever you wanted to do. And reset the, reset the sequence by document or by an individual page, which can be quite handy. So this is great. Um, do I want to reveal the existing sequences? Sure, that sounds great. Um, so that's, that's the main ways that out-of-the-box functionality that you have to work with the toolbox punch list tools developed by Bluebeam. So taking this a step farther, you can actually export your tool chest and work with these uh, export files in various other programs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by clicking on the Manage Tool Sets button and then taking our test punch list and doing an export. So I can save this test, test punch list tools .btx. The btx is the file that we use. I'm going to save this as test, test punch list export demo. And I'm going to replace that file and hit OK. And just going to open that up from my desktop. And we see here this beautiful computer code scheme. Very beautiful. I can't claim to be a computer code expert, but I can claim enough knowledge that I can get in and work with what I with what I see here. So we see a basic a basic HTML like scheme. 
that we have um, our Bluebeam toolset version that says the the kind of a document we're working with and then as we go down we see a tool chest item with brackets and a pre a forward slash tool chest item with brackets this tells me that this is a this is the code to represent a single tool chest item and this is a code to represent our second tool chest item notice that this is our prefix e01 with a start increment of 1 and a start of 1 and an increment of 1 Moving down, this is the actual one that it uses because the first one had a number, a style of none compared to a style of number. Don't want to get too much into the details here, but it's important to it's it's an important distinction to make as we go on to the next steps here. So that's all in good because we can read the prefixes; they come out in normal human speak. However, these these other items, these e tests, came out as completely garbled. Um, only to be read by some computer decryptor. So we have this raw data that is really, really worthless as far as working with it in normal, normal person speak and other computer programs without the decryptor. And I'd like to work with Bluebeam support to get some more, more information on that decryption. So to work with this data in another program, what we knew, need to do is take one of these items that we can work with and I'm going to take this this tool chest item this this numbered prefix with a start character so we copy that copy this text string and we're going to take it into Excel my program of choice love Excel and what I do here is copy this computer code over and notice how much raw data is in that first string and really I don't know how to work with that set of data. So the way we do this, and each one of these guys starts with the tool chest item, and it scrolls all the way down to the end tool chest item. Now all we really care about though is this prefix, and this really all we care about is the prefix for the workflow that I'm looking at here. So I'm going to take everything before this prefix and delete it. And in the second one, and this is just to be so I can work with the Excel parameters. I'm going to take everything um, before the before the prefix and delete that. In the first one, I took everything after the prefix and deleted that. So here we have these two code fragments. And then using auto number technology, that is very common in Excel, we can take DE or demo 01 and DE02 and fill down this list. Fantastic. And here we create a basic Excel formula that references the first half of the code with an absolute reference and this varying part of the code and the second half of the code with a locked in reference. And because I want to have a dot between the prefix and the increment, I put a dot here. Another just simple thing and here I'm going to drag this formula down and this is a step that we need to do to be able to work with the workflow we copy all these formulas and we paste their values we copy them again and here we go into a word document pasting this word document comes in as a table we go back we convert this to text with paragraph marks we do a copy into our original export demo. What I'm going to do is delete all of the tool chest items and only retain the information about uh, this, this group. And here I'm going to delete that and paste in our new, our new data. Now with that text copied, we can do a save as of our file. We're going to do a save as a test punch list tools import demo and this is important we have to switch it to an all files type and do a dot btx and hit save so with that we are ready to take it back into bluebeam so we open back up our manage tool sets window we go to import and we do test punchless tools import demo 
we hit open and beautifully we have a list of all of our punch list tools that we had created and for some reason you actually need to open up a, a new PDF here for this to work and then it, then it starts over DE01.3, DE01.1, and here to this last one, DE27.1.2. And notice my formatting's a little bit off here, but that's because it was a demo and kind of a live test at the same time. Now, there's clearly some very interesting possibilities that we can do here. Um, one of the key limitations that we have is that I cannot embed comments in these batch created items that I would like for all of my electrical items to say have a single have a single subcontractor that, that's responsible for them or for each individual item to be able to be edited within Excel as to what the comment is so that we can more easily have uh, so that we can e more easily have summary sheets and um, edits by multiple users on multiple projects because clearly that that workflow is something that we can't go around teaching all of our users and it's more e it's it's more simple for, to give them an excel spreadsheet say type in type in your punch list items send it back to us and we can generate these these punch list items is in a bulk bulk batch process so thank you for taking the time to take a look at this this workflow that we've developed here and let me know what your thoughts are and see how we can improve it together. Thanks.